Hey everyone, Sergio with the Rideshare Guy. I have a major announcement regarding a list of improvements that Lyft has announced this morning. I was under the embargo until 8 a.m., so you probably are watching this right around that time. The list is long. Some I really like, and some are really inconsequential. However, I already wrote an article, a very detailed one, for our newsletter. Please go to www.therideshareguy.com. You will see all the screenshots, all the details in there. I'm going to read some of this because truly the list is astonishingly long. They have squeezed a lot of this package into one neat bundle. However, some of you have probably experienced some of these improvements due to the fact that Lyft has been piloting them, as some I have myself. In the article, by the way, I have taken this announcement apart. Point for point, I have put my conclusions regarding some of these improvements. Again, like I said, some are good, some are not. On top of everything else, please join us at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern today at Show Me The Money Club when our guest is going to be none other than Mr. Jeremy Byrd, Executive Vice President at Lyft in charge of driver experience, whose group has come up with some of these improvements. We're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Mr. Byrd. We're going to definitely, definitely talk about lower driver earnings. The trend has not been the driver friend regarding earnings, but... So, if I take my eyes off the camera, it's because I'm going to read most of these improvements. As I said, there are over 10 of them. And some of you will see this immediately. Some have already been in existence and now go on nationwide. Some I really like. Some are nothing burgers to me. But to each their own, take it a fast face value. But join us for Show Me The Money Club. Mr. Bird is going to be live. So, in surveys and focus groups and roundtable discussions, Lyft says that the top two concerns of drivers were not earning enough. All right, I agree completely. But here are a couple of things that have been already in existence and now they're gone nationwide. I have made a huge deal about trips going longer in distance and time and driver upfront fares not being adjusted upward. This has been talked about on Show Me The Money for over a year now. Well, finally, Lyft is coming around, and now there's going to be a five-minute delay pay. Well, I think this is a great, great change. Now, if some of you put bull in this, I don't know what else to say. You probably will turn the video off here. Why should drivers drive for free? I think this is a great improvement, and if you do see it, it's because we probably talked about it over and over and Show Me The Money Club and Lyft execs have listened. There is one other thing that in this initial package that I like, and this is something new to me, but if it's not new to you, please email me, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. It is called Out Of Your Way Pay. Lyft says they've heard drivers loud and clear that long trips don't pay anymore. Well, we know that. We know they don't, right? Under the so-called rebalancing, short trips were supposed to pay a little bit more and long trips were supposed to pay a little less. Well, a little less is a lot less. We have proven that over and over and over. So, now let's say, you know, if the drop-off is at a point, we call it nature hikes, that the driver is going to deadhead back most of the way, we're going to adjust the upfront fare. No, it's pretty vague, you know, there is no data on this there is also no specifics it's just a piece of announcement we'll take lift's word for it but i'm pretty sure our community all over the nation is going to supply me with unending screenshots on long trips they are truly paying nothing like 50 60 cents a mile if that well at that level profits are out of the window so we'll see how that goes one thing, another thing that they're coming up with is called more transparent pay. Lip says drivers often have to do a lot of mental math to decide whether a ride is worthy of accepting or not. Well, this one I really like. Well, this one we suggest on Show Me The Money 
quite often, right? Know your worth. Do the calculations in your head, but we have 15 seconds to do so. Well, now Lyft is doing the work for us. On each trip, there will be on the pink screen a dollar amount that is equal to an active hour of earnings. Active hour now. It's not online hour. It's active hour. Lyft is going to calculate and put that right on the pink screen. So if a trip shows up that is $20 per active hour, don't do it. Why do it? Wait for your turn. Wait for a better trip. But this I really, really like. In some cities, it comes in the form of dollars per mile. In some cities, it's going to show up, like in LA, it shows up as dollars per active hour. More transparency, the better for me. More tools. There is finally, long overdue, a new earnings dashboard. We are used to it from the other company. With a couple of clicks, we can go day to day, week to week, year to year, going back years, what we have earned in the past. Well, Lyft is joining the bandwagon. I think this is absolutely going to help the drivers. Will it make you earn money? More money? No, I don't think so. But to at least to see where you're at and potentially improve your earnings by changing your strategies, I think is a great idea. One other thing. As far as earnings are concerned, Lyft is coming up with something called Preferred Driver. What is Preferred Driver? Well, Preferred Driver, first of all, is going to pay you 5% more. Does this ring a bell? Does this sound like Advantage versus Standard? At least with the other company on Standard, you're only going to get into trip radar trips, not with Lyft. On Lyft, you're going to get paid 5% more than the usual fare. I'm going to ask Mr. Bird a lot of questions about this because my initial reaction is 5% over what? As we know, these algorithms, upfront algorithms, can shave pricing any way they like. So, again, 5% more. Does it keep pace with inflation? Is it everything drivers want? No. But it also comes with a low threshold of different bars to jump over. As far as the driver acceptance rate, as far as cancellation rate, as far as driving score is concerned. I'm going to do different videos breaking all this down. But now, Lyft is coming up with a preferred driver alternative for drivers to earn 5% more. In, case, in fact, they said, to encourage safer and more reliable driving, preferred drivers will see a bonus, uh, 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 sorry, a boost in ride requests, keeping them busier and leading to more earnings and a 5% boost in fares. We'll find out. few other things in the stack. Real-time demand. We already had that. I'm not sure how accurate that is. One other good thing that Lyft is coming up with. Some of you like scheduled trips. I do because I live 30 miles outside the city. I like grabbing myself a scheduled trip to get into the hot zone, as I call it. Now Lyft is going to not bundle it, but now they'll be able to stack scheduled trips, one on top of the other one. So let's say you're on a scheduled trip. Now they can stack it once you're close to your destination with another scheduled trip. I think that's a pretty good change as well. For EV drivers, there is something in this package. As I said, there is a long list. It's a long laundry, laundry list. EV improvements. EV drivers now can opt in to get matched only with rides that fall within their battery range. The other company has something very similar to this. So if you're driving an EV, range anxiety should not come into play any longer. Why? Because if you have only 30 mile range, the Lyft algorithm is not going to send you to Timbuktu. I think that's an also good change. And there's a couple of nothing burgers in here that I'm going to talk about. Benefits on and off the road. So, one of the benefits that we know, if you have the Lyft the debit card, you can now grow your savings with Lyft. With the Lyft Direct debit card and banking app, drivers can get cash back on gas, EV charging, set aside portion of their earnings in a high yield savings account, and a lot more. I like it. I mean, yeah, I don't have the Lyft debit card, but if you do, I think this is quite a decent change. Now Lyft is coming within the app, 
to offer affordable health insurance options. They teamed up with Stride Health to help drivers find... Now, for California, this is not an issue because there is Prop 22 here. But on all other states, Stride Health has partnered with Lyft to help drivers find their health insurance for their health insurance needs at the lowest price. I think this is also a good change. And one last thing, Kickstarter, a career in tech. Again, nothing bigger to me, but for young drivers who do not treat rideshare as, as a career, which I suggest none of you do, okay? LiftNan has partnered with Merit America to enable, enable drivers to enter a free course that can help them start a career in tech, high tech. I, I don't see any harm in it in any of these announcements. I think this is a pretty complete package, but again, reminder, join us. 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, Show Me the Money Club. Mr. Jeremy Bird, Executive Vice President at Lyft in charge of driver experience, is going to be our guest. We're going to talk about, about these changes, obviously, but it's not just going to be a PR stunt. I'm going to talk to him heart to heart, from a driver to an executive of a company, about earnings, because that is the top of the list. There is nothing more that concerns driver than lower earnings over the past three years. So, you all stay healthy and be safe out there.